Very good morning my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So as usual at the beginning of every weekly analysis video, we always want to share with you the results of our Forex signals from the premium group. And I'm just gonna scroll right here front of you so you can check by yourself these signals that we have sent and these amazing results that we have delivered to our clients. Now of course I just have to mention that not every day will be great. Some days we are facing some few losses here and there, but that is Forex, that is the reality of it. You cannot expect every single day to be very, very profitable. And look at that. Even the losses are very, very tiny. I mean, we are doing our best to reduce the losses to the maximum. Uh, pound AUD closed with only zero pips of loss. I mean, that, that was just like a break even. Euro AUD closed with only seven pips of loss against USD CAD, 50 pips of uh, profit. USD CAD again, 20 pips of profit. Um, Euro USD 50 pips of profit and again USD CAD has hit the take profit le level 3 with 100 pips of profit. This, this is actually what we are focusing on to increase the profits to the maximum also and by the way uh, last Friday we decided that we are not going to send any signals for the safety of our clients money because we noticed that the market is going really high on volatility that day and it was not safe at all. And there was some news uh, from the United States. It was not really uh, safe to send any signals that day, especially also the CAD was uh, not good to trade, to be honest. That's why I told Angel, please just uh, send a message that we're not going to send any signals Friday. And of course, since everyone has paid for these uh, for, for a month, what we did actually, all the members will have one extra day added to their membership period as well. That is, uh, of course, a part of being very honest and uh, fair with the members because it's not their fault what happened in the market that day. And again, thankfully, we are having these great positive messages from the members. And I'm really grateful and very happy to see to see these feedbacks. Always we are receiving these feedbacks from uh, the clients. We are just posting some of them. These are not every message we have received. These are not all of them. These are not all of them. We are receiving tons of messages, actually. And I'm very grateful again, I have to say, and I just want to th wanted to thank the members for, for giving us their time also to write these beautiful reviews to us. So in the end, if you wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, please contact Angela. You can find her contact details in the description below this video. Contact her today and hopefully we will see you there. So now going to the weekly analysis itself, let's now as usual start with the Euro USD. So now what's happening to the euro USD? Actually, the dollar is still weak after these bad results or actually the bad uh, reports about the pandemic uh, hitting the United States and the cases numbers are still increasing and that is still worrying the investors and therefore we really cannot expect from the euro, for, from, sorry, for, we cannot expect from the uh, US dollar to actually rise at this moment. So most likely what will gonna happen, dollar is gonna still fall. Um, if we check the dollar index uh, chart, we can see that the dollar index is actually falling down in a, a in a downtrend, and therefore we can expect from the other pairs to rise against the US dollar. Therefore, for the Euro USD, what we can see right here is we are having this uptrend like that, and the trend is moving up uh, strongly. Uh, the upper momentum is really powerful at this pair. So seeing that the trend line has been respected right here. That support uh, trend line has been respected, as I said. So now going to the four hour chart, we can expect here, or actually let me just tell you that as I said in the in the midweek analysis video, we have seen here the breakout from that resistance trend line. And there the, big, the breakout happened. And as I told you, the market will go down to retest that broken resistance trend line. And now it has, it has become the new support trend line, not only for one time, but for uh, twice also. That means Euro USD is gonna continue the rise this week and it's gonna rise all the way until it hit that resistance level on 1.14225. That means uh, the Euro USD should be really good for the buy at the level 1.2756. And as you can see, uh, this is our safe box. Uh, it's gonna be ranging for almost 53 pips. I really doubt that even the Euro USD can reach my entry point, to be honest. Um, looking at the daily candles, 
looking at the daily candles we can see that the, rev the, the reversal on the support has happened twice as I said and that price action actually indicating that the next week candle or sorry tomorrow's candle or this week candle I mean of course is gonna start as a bullish candle and it's gonna rise right away of course I don't or I, I really don't like to give a buy order on the resistance level therefore we are just hoping for the market to to just for a little bit more make a final retest on the support level and then it's gonna start the rise therefore uh, the signal has been given right on that level of 1.27 uh, sorry uh, 1 1.12756 and the tech profit level is on the resistance on 1.14225 please be sure that you are uh, drawing the uh, safe box exactly as I'm, I'm I'm drawing here front of you uh, because actually I don't think the pair is gonna be able to break out from that support level right here if the signal is gonna fail or not actually fail I mean if if the pair is gonna continue falling down it's gonna make another retest of that resistance trend line before it continue the rise that's the reason the border of the safe box has been placed right on that support level if you see the candles has actually uh, the, the four hour chart if you see the four hour candle has made actually a bearish breakout candle uh, below that support level you can close the trade with the loss and I don't think this is gonna happen to be honest with you so that's my weekly analysis for the euro USD and hopefully it's gonna be uh, profitable now moving to the pound USD as we can see what happened here for the pound USD and actually this is interesting I just wanted to show you this um, those who are watching my live uh, trading videos they know very well what I'm always telling them about the bullish breakout candle and how we can trade the time when the previous resistance becomes the new support if you notice here my friends this is, that is exactly what I'm teaching here on my channel uh, we are having right here the bullish breakout candle and look at that that is the nearest week to this bearish breakout uh, bullish breakout candle meaning that is exactly the same level where the previous sub, uh, resistance is gonna be the new support and check that out the candle has reversed exactly on the same level of that bearish uh, of that uh, wick right here it didn't reverse right here it didn't reverse right here it reversed exactly at the level of the nearest wick to the bullish breakout candle fantastic now as you can see we already have here a support number one uh, from the pound USD and by looking at the momentum of the pound USD we can see actually it's going in uh, bullish momentum like that and the trend has been respected so many times so what we can see right here is that the bullish momentum is gonna uh, continue and most likely the pound USD is gonna be good for the buy at the attempt of support number two now again I have to mention I really doubt if my signal is gonna be active uh, or sort of be act uh, triggered because I really think that the pair is gonna continue the rise right away however we always have to be prepared uh, for the market to fall uh, to retest uh, the broken support sorry the broken resistance as we can see also we're having right here uh, attempt number one of the resistance and right here attempt number two of the resistance actually it's a uh, third attempt to be honest that is right here a resistance 2 and right here resistance 3 that's why I think that the market is actually gonna fall a little bit hit that previous support level and then gonna continue the rise but as I said um, oh my god all right as I said it's not moving because of the uh, uh, technical analysis uh, we are talking now about fundamental analysis and the weakness of the USD dollar is gonna actually help the pound to continue the rise right away at the opening uh, of the market on Monday therefore that being said pound USD should be good for the buy at 1.25655 please also mark your safe zone as I have drawn them I really don't think the pair is gonna be able to reach that support level really highly doubt it unless there was some unexpected news about a quick recovery for the economy in the United States or a huge drop number in the cases of the uh, coronavirus that might help but without that I don't think it's gonna happen or if we heard something um, very bad about Brexit news or uh, th the market is really 
uh, subjective to the news my friends we always have to pay attention to the news what you are seeing in this video is only the technical analysis we cannot really expect what will gonna happen uh, this week um, from the perspective of the of the news we always we always have to be careful to what uh, the announcements are gonna be um, from the economic news so take profit level is gonna be right on that resistance at 1.27548 I actually let me just go to the daily candles um, to be honest with you I really think that the pound USD I think by Wednesday or maximum Thursday is gonna reach that level of the resistance and honestly I think it's gonna make the breakout right away and it's gonna rise all the way to hit that resistance level right there and it might even rise more to hit the resistance level right here on 1.32370 uh, the momentum for the pound USD is very strong and I think eventually uh, after I think uh, a month or maximum 45 days you, uh, the pound USD actually might reach uh, that resistance on 1.34908 that's, that's, that's gonna take a long time anyway uh, that is only my uh, own uh, point or my, uh, my own opinion about how the pound USD is gonna move for the next few weeks so that's my signal and hopefully it's gonna work moving to the AUD USD now the AUD USD has been ranging for quite long time on that resistance level and if we draw here the resistance uh, and support trend lines we can see that the pair right now is trapped in this channel and it has been ranging in this channel for a really long time remember this is, this is the 4 hour chart okay and therefore i think in the end uh, the aud usd is gonna fall to the uh, down to that support level and it's gonna reverse right on that support level again so that support is gonna keep its position at the support and then from that point the pair is gonna continue the rise all the way to hit that resistance level on 0 0.70640 now let me just uh, draw this again it's like that exactly like that yep like this that is exactly what I'm seeing in here in the AUD USD the pair is actually gonna fall a little bit more down reverse on that support as I said and then it's gonna continue the rise therefore uh, let's write here the signal for the buy on the AUD USD on point z zero point uh, six nine six nine zero four five correct yes i just really hate writing wrong signals it happened many times uh, when the number was not uh, the actual number of the line so take profit level as i said is gonna be on the resistance of 0 0.707640 so hopefully this signal is gonna be accurate and we're gonna make some good profit out of it now we're moving to the usd cad now for the USD CAD as we can see the pair has met here a double bottom it has reversed twice from that support level uh, eventually I think if we go to the daily candles we can see the momentum here for the bearish momentum is really strong and I really highly doubt that the USD CAD can rise above that level of the resistance right here that is, ex that is exactly the reason I'm placing the sell order for the USD CAD and actually to be honest the target should be that support level right here however that's gonna be uh, a lot that's gonna be 300 uh, pips and I don't think uh, it's uh, reasonable to give that signal or such signal with uh, weekly analysis and therefore the target has been given right on the support level uh, as I said the bearish momentum is very strong especially we are having right here uh, two, two bearish breakout candles from the support meaning the pair is definitely gonna continue the fall now going to the four hour chart as we can see my friends we can place the sell order right here for the USD CAD at 1.36681 and that is your safe zone please mark it uh, exactly as I have drawn here uh, it's gonna be ranging for almost uh, 50 pips or 47 pips exactly and the tech profit level as I said is gonna be right on that previous support level at 1.34908 hopefully it's gonna work well and we are gonna make some good profits out of this signal now moving to the USDGPY 
um, for the USD GPY, if we go to the daily candles as well, we can see the strong bearish momentum exactly what's happening for the USD CAD. The momentum is really strong, and the pair, no matter how you draw your uh, resistance trend line, it's still moving in a bearish momentum. Therefore, uh, that being said also, uh, we are having right here on daily candles a previous support level. That support was also a previous support in the past. It was actually a key support level in the past. That means this support is strong and we can expect from the market after the bearish breakout candle right here, it's going to rise a little bit more up, making the final retest of that uh, previous support and then it's going to continue the fall. Now the reason I have placed my safe zone or the safe box inside this area is because we're having right here the resistance and it was also a strong resistance right here in the past. So in case the market is going to make the break out from that support level because the retest actually might work and the market might actually continue the fall, uh, sorry, the rise. And I think in that scenario, we can expect the reversal to happen exactly on that sub, uh, previous resistance. And then from that point, it's going to continue falling. Now, uh, for the USD GPY, uh, the sell is going to be placed <coughs> on 107.101. And please mark also your safe box exactly as I did here. And for the take profit, my friends, take profit is going to be 105.987. So we are aiming approximately 108 pips profit from the USD GPY against a potential 51 pips of loss. Now moving to the USD CHF. USD CHF um, chart is really very similar to the USD GPY because we can see right here we had a very strong support level. That support has been finally uh, broken out by this bearish breakout candle on daily candles. R remember my friends, right now I'm on the daily candles. So we can see that the market has already made a retest right here, creating a resistance number one. Yes, resistance number one right here. I'm just checking to be sure. Uh, just go to the back, back to the four hour chart. Yes, exactly. That is the resistance number one. And now I believe the market is going to reverse on that support level. It's going to rise a little bit, hitting the same level of resistance one, creating resistance number two, and then it's going to continue the fall. So I think it's going to be a really good signal for shorting the USD CHF at the level zero point nine double four two four and uh, the tech profit level is going to be placed at that previous support level right there so we can look for uh, the tech profit at the support or nine zero point nine three two one five and let me just see how many pips, pips is that yeah 100 100 almost 120 pips of profit gonna be made from the signal against potential of uh, 50 pips of loss, I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, I mean, the loss, I don't think it's going to happen. So, hopefully, the signal is going to be accurate also, and we're going to make some good profit out of it. Now, let's check the gold. Now, the gold actually is, uh, is really very interesting, to be honest. Now, if we go to the monthly chart, remember, guys, now I'm in the monthly chart. What we can see right here, just hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that. I just had to pause the video for a minute. Anyway. Uh, let me just tell you here that we are having that resistance since 2011 as I told you exactly what happened the I want you to notice something here. We are having this resistance zone and As we can see the market was actually able to close inside the zone However, the market has also failed to break above that zone and as we can see we are having right here the wick so we are having uh, uh, the wick of the candle right above that resistance zone for me, that's an indicator for uh, a continuation of the rise for the gold. So, that being said, we go back to the daily candles. And what we can see right here is we had that, as I said before, we're having right here a resistance zone. And we can see that these two candles has managed to close above that resistance zone. So, we can expect for the market to fall a little bit more down, hitting that previous resistance and then it's gonna continue rising if the candles did not reverse right on that resistance I'm sure it's gonna be reverse at that previous support level right here so 
that is actually gonna be a good signal let's go back to the four hour chart so now we can see um the resistance level of the price one thousand seven hundred eighty six dollars is actually a remarkable level because the market was not actually able to even reach that re uh, the retest level after the breakout if we notice here every time the market made the breakout from any resistance level it always made the retest however that level has not been retested yet even that level right here on 1798 it has been also retested that level of 1786 as i said it's remarkable and i'm sure the bears are gonna try to push the mark to actually bring the market down to retest that level now the point i just wanted to mention is we need actually it's much better if we just wait for a good price action indicating a reversal right here now what ha what's gonna happen on monday in my opinion the market is gonna fall and it's gonna hit that previous resistance at that moment i highly advise you to open the trade immediately with a small lot size um i just I, I, okay uh, open the trade with a small lot size and keep it running until you see the market has closed as a good price action indicating a, poten a potential reversal such as a pin bar or a reverse hammer if you see, if you see the market has uh, closed as one of these candles that indicates usually a bullish reversal that time you can open another trade with a bigger lot size um, that is actually what I'm doing sometimes when I'm just not very sure about the uh, trade and I just I just uh, don't want to miss it. That's why I'm just opening this trade with a small lot size, just testing what's gonna happen in the market. And if I see the potential reversal, I'm gonna open another trade, increasing the lot size. Now, the reason I'm saying that because I think the market, honestly speaking, I think the market once it reaches this level, is gonna reverse right away. I don't really think the market is gonna even exceed that level. It's not going to go below that support. I think it's going to reverse right away, right on it. However, I always want everyone to be safe uh, to the maximum with my signals. That is only the reason I'm giving this uh, signal right here. And uh, let's just draw the safe box. The safe box is going to be ranging exactly at that support level. And that resistance on 1778. Again, I really highly doubt that this level of the support is going to be reached and the market is definitely going to reverse right on that previous resistance. And actually, let me increase the take profit level. All right. So as I said, if the market is going to reverse right on that previous resistance to create the new support, we can expect from the market to continue rising all the way to hit that previous resistance. That being said, we can place the buy on uh, 1786.61 at the top of that previous resistance and for the take profit level 1810.48 that's gonna be our take profit level so as we can see the stop the the safe box is ranging between um, almost 76, 76 pips against a potential profit of 2000 sorry 240 pips hopefully gonna be in profit and hopefully it's gonna be a very good week for everyone so again i really wish it's gonna be profitable week uh, my friends and please uh, let me just uh, say something all these signals have been given on the technical analysis plus uh, a little of fundamental analysis based on the condition of the US dollar. Please enter these signals at your own risk and your own responsibility. Me as extreme trader, I don't take any responsibility for any potential losses based on this signal. And if I see the market actually goes against my analysis, I will quickly release the midweek analysis video to uh, hope, hoping to see what's going to happen in the market and to go along with the market. And hopefully we're going to uh, always recover the losses in case they happen. So in the end, I really hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.